Time to Feast channel. Today we will be making zucchini bites. I'm excited because I'd like to try this out for dinner and it's I'm making it an easy recipe. I'm just adding a few ingredients in here and all you need to do is pop it in the oven, take it out, and it is so good. So let's make it. You need a cutting board depending on how many servings you'll make. I have two zucchini, so I'm just gonna make two, and you'll need a knife for this step. Next step, I'll show you what else you need. So first, you're gonna cut off the ends of the zucchini. I had just washed my zucchini. I always wash my vegetables and my fruits before I use them, cook them, and we'll just put that aside. So, this is probably not a good knife. Okay, so I got a better knife. <laughs> So now we're just going to want to cut our zucchinis in half, okay, wow look how pretty that is. And I'm going to cut them in half again. So I was originally going to make it like a chip style so they're in circles, but I think I'm just going to do some strips for this recipe. Um, I'm just going to cut all these in half. We're going to see how these turn out. You can cut the ends of them so they're even. I like to cut like that. These will go in the garbage. Um, let's cut the ends of this one so they're even. Okay, so these strips would be ready. Okay, so we'll put those aside. Let's cut this one so it's even. Put that aside. And then you're just gonna keep doing this until you've cut up all your zucchinis and they're all in strips or whatever shape you'd like them to be. And then I will come back when my zucchinis are cut and I will tell you the next step to our delicious zucchini recipe. Okay, as you can see, I have a packed cutting board. I just finished cutting up all my zucchinis. So now you're gonna take two bowls, good sized bowls, and you're going to coat one bowl in olive oil. Make sure your hands are clean for this step because we're going to toss the zucchinis, zucchini sticks inside the olive oil. Make sure they're all coated with olive oil. You do not want them sticking to the pan that we're going to put in the oven. Okay, so after you've tossed your zucchini sticks inside the olive oil, you're gonna take your other bowl and I'm gonna list the ingredients right now. We are gonna need salt, so let's put that in there. I like to eyeball, so I don't know. A teaspoon, we'll just say that. Then you need pepper. I only put a little bit of pepper. Okay, so this ingredient is optional. You can use garlic powder, onion powder, or minced garlic. Again, these are all optional. I think I'm gonna use some onion powder just to pop that flavor. Just a little bit, because it is very strong. Then you're gonna need dried breadcrumbs, obviously, they're dried. But I'm using flavored. Um, we're gonna add a good amount of this in here. About a cup and a half or so, because I have a lot of zucchini and Parmesan cheese so that cheese can melt all over those zucchini sticks. I don't like to put too much. Then again, I have a big batch. So about three-fourths of a cup. And we are going to start to mix this together. And I will come back when I have a couple of zucchini sticks ready and I'll show you what they look like so I can put them on my pan and pop them in the oven. Really quick note, I'm just gonna start breading my zucchini sticks, but really quick note, um, make sure you preheat your oven at this time to about 375 and you're gonna bake these for 20 to 30 minutes in the oven. But also make sure that you have your grease pan. So I'm using a baking pan and I'm going to, I had just greased it and I'm just popping my zucchini sticks on there right now. You can actually see the foil in the camera. So I'm just popping these on here. 
Okay, so I just took these zucchini sticks out of my oven. I ended up cooking them for 25 minutes at 375 degrees Fahrenheit. These look amazing. Look at this, they're all crunchy. Oh, that did not work. They're definitely very soft. That's probably why it fell off my fork. Um, but the cheese definitely browned and that's what you're looking for. You're looking for a golden brown to, and if you like your cheese crispy, dark brown color on these zucchini sticks. I can't wait to try one out. I don't want to try one out when it's hot. You know what? What the heck? Wow. These are really good. They taste like restaurant zucchini sticks. Yeah, these are definitely really good. Hot, but good. So, please give this a try. Definitely recommend it. Make sure to like, comment, turn on post notifications, subscribe. Thank you for watching. Make sure to check out all of my other videos and have a great day.